Okay, this is a video to remind myself how to use my electric smoker. I have a Brinkman electric smoker. Um, I use little chips in the smoker box, which is what this is. I use garlic in the smoker pan uh, water to be part of the flavoring that goes into the chicken. I buy a whole chicken from Sam's Meat Market because it's grown locally in Thornton. I live here in Colorado and I like my chicken as fresh as possible. So here are the parts of the electric smoker. You can see here's the base and it's got the lava rock in it and we have the body of it and I am looking at it and I don't see a water pan so I'm going to go in search of a water pan and we've got the dome lid. Right now I'm going to plug in with the right type of extension cord um, so that the base can start heating up. Okay so I didn't find the water pan which is okay because we're going to make do because we're Americans. So going to put the smoker box where it belongs. Now what you could do is you could put big pieces of wood right around and just not touch the element. Uh, so that works fine. We're going to put on the body. There's the body. So it's on. And normally, of course, we would have the water pan in there. But since we don't, we're going to use the bottom rack and we're going to add a bowl of water with our garlic or whatever other aromatics you want to have. And then we'll put the top rack in and that is where we'll place the chicken. So, next step, let's go oil up the chicken. Put some sage, some butter, some salt, and maybe a little bit of paprika, and then we'll put that on the grill for three hours. So here is our fresh sage from the garden, and it's got a very lovely aromatic scent to it. I'm going to put it in the cavity of the chicken. Um, I could put it in the water. But uh, that's going to be the easiest thing to do is stick it right in so that some of that flavor comes from the inside out. I'm going to rub it in oil, rub it in butter, and in salt. But since I've just touched the chicken, um, my hand is dirty, so I've got to wash my hands and then um, put all of this stuff into a bowl so that it's safely handled, and then I will apply it to the chicken. So as you can see, there's not a lot of technique required. It's a pretty simple, straightforward, just glom everything onto the skin of the chicken and take the chicken out, put it on the grill, and leave it there for three hours. All right, so this is my favorite part, is seeing it looks so good and then there will be this magical transformation that the heat does. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that, make sure everything looks good, make sure we've got the door closed, and we will let heat work magic.